Hello, hello, and welcome, my Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your five card draw, beautiful, new to full moon read this June into July 2023. That was a mouthful. <laughs> I am your reader. Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. They're just my initials. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998. Author of Words of Grace for Professional Witch. It's available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box for the Kindle version, obviously. The original version. The original version, which is a Fellini Film Fest, compared to the to the Kindle version is over on Patreon. Some of my subscribers at patreon.com slash drawing the circle have access to the original versions and chakra chapters. It's a beautiful book. I love that book. Uh, but all of my subscribers uh, get three things in common. At the time of this recording, they get the daily check-ins and unlisted YouTube live stream like every morning except if it just can't go down like this morning, it's a long story. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, tricky day. Uh, uh, but they do get an unlisted YouTube live stream link so they can chat with me every morning about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, spiritual implications, always ending with a prayer or blessing of something, something to send us on our way. Best way for me to start the day. They also get all the extended readings, all the part twos to the part ones. There's no extended for this one, but there are a lot of them. They're all relationship based. And the part twos are juggernauts. You can try them on Vimeo on demand as well. But, you know, all of my subscribers get that one. Get the extended readings as well as so they get a significant discount with uh, private sessions when they book me. We'll talk about that at the end of the video, which apparently is that way. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I love it. I highly recommend Patreon.com uh, to anyone as uh, someone looking to go deeper, uh, support their artists, their teachers, their who's he, what's this over there, as well as a creator. I highly recommend it. Being a creator, particularly Cardinal Fire Signs. So click the link, check it out. And come Patreon on Patreon. Send the Archangel Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. You can just call me Mal. Hey, yeah, been a tricky time. Had a, a, one of my my eldest cats, Abby, crossed. Oh, but 24 hours ago, we're okay. It's not quite through it all, but we're okay. So I did quite a little bit of extra breath work and prayer and meditation and surrender, and of course, crying my eyes out. <laughs> Uh, and put on the makeup, <laughs> and so I'm here actually rather relaxed and clear and knowing that I surrendered my will to the divine to make this the best reading I've ever done, but not the best reading I will ever do. So, let's have at it. Let's do some explanation for the new Aquari uh, Aquarians, Aries, they both start with A. Cut me some slack. <laughs> Uh, for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and the new Cross Watchers, um, because this is a timed read. The uh, five card draw is just one card from five different decks, and includes tips and hints about anything in the world that you want to fill in the blank. I really want to know about blank. Five cards, pull them from anything, you'll get clarity. Uh, but we're looking at a specific two week uh, timeline, a beautiful, new to full plant to seed, watch it grow. These five decks representing the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, and spirit to help you fine tune and align your intention work, your spell work, your law of attraction, who's he, what's this, whatever you want to call it, uh, to plant a seed and watch it grow from this new to full. Let's talk about the astrology. I do have it written down because it's helpful because certain signs are going to get hit with different things. We are looking at a tricky new moon-ish. Uh, a new moon in Gemini goes void, of course, then into Cancer on Sunday, uh, June 18th, Father's Day, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it does go new moon at uh, 12.37 a.m. Eastern Time. I am New York. Goes void, of course, uh, 2.24 a.m. So you have a window there if you want to do the new moon in Gemini. I will will uh, be doing that, uh, because then you can do another little piece of New Moon Magic on Sunday morning, the 18th, as it goes into Cancer at 6.58 a.m. So, uh, a pretty good zone for air and then water intentions, etc., etc., and of course, when the moon rides at her peak, then ye hearts desire seek. We're making our way to the full moon uh, uh, in Capricorn, right? Cancer, New Moon. 
Ca uh, Capricorn full moon uh, on Monday. Unfortunately, it's a full moon on Monday, not a new moon on Monday. You know what I do when it's a new moon on Monday. And that happens on July 3rd, the day before Independence Day here in the United States uh, at 7.39 a.m. And that's a little early on a Monday for a full moon, but I'll hit it because uh, really you want to hit that uh, before it peaks. But, you know, you do get the three days into and out of a full moon. In between those two dates of note, uh, let's see, on the 2nd uh, of, uh, sorry, is that the 21st? Oh, no, yeah, 621, duh, Letha. Uh, the sun uh, going into Cancer the first day of summer, officially Letha, the summer solstice, major uh, Sabbath in the pagan magical wheel of the year. Uh, Mercury goes into Cancer. Uh, on, oh, I didn't write the date down for that. Womp womp. All right, I'll fix that for the next one. I thought I did. I did not, but it is going into Cancer. Uh, and then, uh, 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 which may affect, I know, I should stop the reading and go write it down, but check it, check it, because it is going to uh, square for an Aries, right? The Aries on Moon Rising Venus is going to be squaring uh, Mercury in Cancer, but it moves quickly through each sign, pretty much once a month without retrogrades, this time at least. Uh, but Neptune is going retrograde. Uh, as well at that point. I can't believe I did not write down the planetary uh, stuff for that as well, but like I said, it's been a tricky 24 hours and uh, an intense one. So, uh, there's your timeline that we're looking at. It's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs. Cross watchers, you have the opportunity to get a, a, a clue, a tip, a hand, some insight, some understanding, some sympathy, and some empathy for the Aries Collective you are cross watching for to help them manifest the first card, the element of fire, what we yearn for, what we burn for, what our hearts desire, because our hearts' desires are given to us before we come in to this life. Metaphorically, that's why they're written in our heart, because we can't get away from them, and they're part of a much larger plan, right, that we cannot imagine or conceive. It's it's that good, and we don't gotta like it as we go. I'm always clear about that. You don't gotta like what goes down. But manifesting our heart's desires is certainly a hero's journey, so every time any one of us on planet Earth takes even a step forward towards manifesting our heart's desires, we shift to a more golden timeline, a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser, a timeline with more love, more wisdom, more power, more all of that, which makes this world a better place. And we take the planet with us when we jump a timeline, and there are an infinite number of timelines. So one person's timeline may not be another's. So, uh, yeah, uh, let, let's shift from all this explanation to the divination. Both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will, and I promise you, I will do my very best to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace to help anyone manifest their heart's desires into physical form for our well-being and for the well-being of all of life on planet Earth and probably beyond the universe being all one and all of that. So, let's do this. Uh, the shift from explanation, which I gotta do and I'm glad to, to the divination, which I was born to do. That happens in the still point. Let's go there. Please take a nice deep breath. point. Ancestral override. Using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish for the element of fire, I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. Please, one card in clarity. Uh, the spell fragment to help the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers who are watching this video who are drawn to this reading. Clarify, fine tune hone their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire to plant the seed this beautiful, beautiful June into July. Confidence! Oh, come on, Aries gig big time. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. Ooh, sounds very Aries. I mean, certainly a candle spell, minimum, right? Uh, uh, by earth, by air, by water, by fire. We've got them on the table. Let my confidence take light, uh, burn higher. 
I like it. I like it. Okay, so that's probably more what is required to manifest your heart's desire. I mean, unless, unless your heart's desire, you be more confident, which is fine, you know, in general read. So, let's ground that uh, with the Crystal Oracle, Tony Carmine Salerno, for the element of Earth. If you have the stone indicated, it's an opportunity for an amulet, a talisman, a little magical something-something. Uh, uh, to carry with you, do them. I, I, I write down all of mine, I do all the spells, I, I match them with, well, pieces of jewelry, because uh, anything will work for the element of Earth, even your, you know, your favorite t-shirt will work if you gotta. Uh, so let's see what Archangel Ariel has to say for the element of Earth. I hope you manifest your heart's desire, the fuel that feeds the fire to ground and manifest the heart's desire. Please take a nice deep breath. <laughs> As I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North, powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle, beloved Archangel of Lions, Bark, Bark Angel, Mark, Archangel of Wealth, Archangel of Nature, one card in clarity, please, for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Cross Watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading. What is the element of Earth? Uh to fuel the fire to help ground and manifest their heart's desire this oh yes this uh this beautiful beautiful rutilated quartz and we're in a big hunk of chunk of piece this is the torch of our of archangel ariel <laughs> Uh, rutilated quartz is wonderful. It's clear quartz with rutiles in it. It's a, it's another uh, mineral in there. I love me some rutilated quartz. Wait do you hear what it does. Vibrational healing. Higher mind, so the mind of your higher self, if you want to define it that way, and reconciliation. That's why I do I wear it. That's why I bring it to you every time. Uh, you are subconsciously receiving loving vibrations and loving thoughts from someone connected to your past. An episode or conflict that hurt you emotionally is now being healed and reconciled by the power of forgiveness and unconditional love. Now, if you put, stick a pin in that, right, um, you may have no idea who this is. This could be collective, right? It could be just a general reconciliation. Um, over the coming days, uh, you may find yourself emotionally and mentally reciprocating this love as you reflect on a person or past event, because that's how holographic healing. Well, there's only one of us here. We just appear to be separate unity. You and I T Y, right? So as somebody is willing to forgive, even a small willingness to forgive, of course in miracles, all it takes is a small willingness to forgive consistently applied, right? Little by little by little by little. Uh, that affects your energy field too, right? That's holographic life. Uh, through this mutual exchange of love, past wounds are now energe energetically uh, being healed and all negative attachments resolved and released. I mean, it's worth it to get a piece of brutalated quartz, but really, clear quartz does everything. So, I will say with confidence, right? Confidence is usually something that is in the solar plexus, right? How you appear in the world. Internally confident is a different vibe. That's heart chakra. Solar plexus is your boundaries, right? Your self worth. Self esteem as a verb, not a noun, right? So uh, definitely, this can be something that maybe you made a boo boo. They made a boo boo. Everybody screws up on planet Earth at some point, right? So reconciliation to reconcile to be reconciled even within your own self is right in there with real with alignment, right? Right? Reconciled, realigned, re-inspired all for your well-being, and of course it's going to boost the confidence level. Yeah, got it. Okay, let's look at the element of air using the Archangel Fire Oracle, but you know they got wings. And it's a brilliant uh, book and deck. Alexandra Wenman, Findhorn Press. Everyone has access to archangels. If you think of your higher self as a guardian angel that belongs to a collective called an archangel, and that those archangels gather together in their little groups like carpooling into virtues and thrones and powers and dominions all the way back to stores, 
Um, so what I love about this particular book and deck is that they put it in very beautiful cultural ways, kind of distributing the archangels to everybody, which I get. They're celestials. You think they have racial bias, of course not. <laughs> they were around before the planet was even formed. So uh, let's see who's waiting in the wings. He's only, they only come when called, right? You politely invite, you pray. Even a Google search will probably throw open a door for an archangel to come in if you so will it. We all have free will. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Archangelic override. As I call upon the beloved pantheons of archangels for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Science, and Crosswatchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, please, beloved ones, which one of you is waiting in the wings, with their wings, ready to zoom in and help for the element of air, the air to stoke the fire, to help what they think about, the mental stuff, what they, to manifest what they burn for, what they yearn for, what their hearts desire, which most likely does require confidence, this beautiful, full to new, Zuriel, Z-U-R-I-E-L, a whirling dervish, I believe. Oh, oh, your dervish is whirling. Card number 27. I believe that's from the Sufi tradition or similar. You know, I could have been a comparative uh, religion uh, scholar, but, you know, tweed and elbow patches, not my gig this life. Diplomacy and fair play are the key word with reconciliation and confidence work. I'm uh, just going to read a little bit of the description of the angel to give you a little taste. And then there's a message and not a very long one. Okay. Zuriel, diplomacy and fair play. Beloved Zuriel is known as God is my rock and the angel of repent. Repentance, repentance and reconciliation. Oh, come on now. Like the female Sufi whirling dervish on her oracle card, she is the regulator of opposing forces and governs the rotation of the heavenly bodies, keeping Mother Earth in sync with our solar system and universe. She stands for harmony and peace as the celestial rock she helps keep you rooted to the spot when you need to take a stand for what's right. She is a formidable ally to have around you when you are facing conflict, especially when facing injustice coming from the opposition, as she literally cannot be budged. Wow. Uh, Zuriel acts as your inner backstop, preventing you from backing down in the face of unfairness takes a bit of confidence for that. Call on me to bring harmony, diplomacy, and fair play to all your interactions. I will restore your equilibrium. Zuriel, Z-U-R-I-E-L, like Uriel with a Z, because Zuriel with a Z. <laughs> I'm not going to Liza Minnelli me this early in the day, shall we? So, fire, earth, air. Let's look at the water, right? the element of water, the emotion, the energy and motion that we experience as emotions when in physical bodies. It's outside of the body. It's a different gig entirely, right? You look at it differently. Uh, love is the only true emotion. Everything else is, uh, an, uh, <laughs> is an illusion. <laughs> it's the only true thing. Love or fear. The opposite of love is fear, but what is all-encompassing can truly have no opposite course in miracles, literally, in the first couple of pages, the intro, actually. So... <laughs> So, uh, let's see what the Higher Self Collective has to say. Your Higher Self, and obviously the Higher Self of at least one other person, or people, uh, in this reconciliation. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Higher Selves override. I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love for the Aries collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs and cross watchers watching this video drawn to this reading for the emotional part, the love that is divine power, the core, that is the truth of who we are. So what is a piece of information, inspiration, insight they need for the element of water to help them manifest their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, that one would think most likely requires confidence. 
uh, this uh, new to full, new love. Now this could be a love that has reconciled and you get a new shot at it. Uh, embrace the new opportunities of love uh, that is here. Uh, this may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth, saying as well. So, you know, reconciliation without love is faking it, <laughs> right? But you don't have to, like, be feeling the unconditional love in every cell, every tissue, every organ of your body in order for that to happen. No, this is a beginning. This is a beginning. And certainly if there was unfairness done, this can be done with diplomacy, particularly with the element of air. You know, diplomacy is verbal. You know, so how you talk to yourself about this. Uh, on the inside, how you talk to anybody else about this, whether they're the people involved or not, right? Uh, call in Zuriel for that, because this is an opportunity to open your heart and begin either something completely new and different in your timeline, or maybe somebody coming back. But in a good way, in a way that is reconciled. Doesn't mean that, you know, whatever, romantic or otherwise, that it's all going to be, you know... Arts and roses, ham and pears, 24-7, 365, the rest of your life. But at least you get a new beginning here, even if it's a fresh start for you to love again. In whatever way, shape, or form. Whatever kind of relationship. Okay, last card down. Of course, a Matt Kahn healing mantra. I swear, these are the ones that help. That's why I lock them into the same pieces. I have a piece of jewelry for my sun, moon, right? my sun, my moon, my rising, and my Venus signs. Uh, so I charge them up. You know, I even use them for the eight card draws, the shadow reads to clear the field from full to new. Uh, uh, so uh, I love the mantras. They really help and they work if you work them. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Ascended Master Override. I call upon the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly. Please, beloved ones, one card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Crosswalkers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading. The card of spirit to charge this, to align it, to bring it all in together. So really all they have to do is the mantra, but with the intention to manifest their heart's desire that it either is or does require confidence, with the reconciliation, the energetic vibrational healing and forgiveness of the rutilated quartz, calling in Archangel Zuriel for fairness and diplomacy in a situation that brings them new love. What is the mantra to help them pull this off, this beautiful new to full? Sharing shame. When I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be. This is a conversation. Now, this conversation, I will say, because of rutilated quartz, does not have to be done face to face. There is such a thing as distant healing, right? Hunchho say so then. For my Reiki people, just went like that. Uh, you know, um, but this could also be you talking to a counselor, to a therapist, doing it in prayer, uh, or it could be certainly a face to face thing. Now, by the way, this could not just be you sharing shame, but them sharing their deepest pain, because when I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be, so when people can get, we're never upset for the reason that we think, again, Course in Miracles, hey, I'm a student and teacher of Course in Miracles, I did the workbook twice, all right, uh, uh, then you really get that we're, it says right in it, when you are never upset for the reason you think, because the mind can conceive all sorts of different, well, it's because of this, and because in a past life, that you know, whatever, where really it's collective pain that we're all in, and as each and every one of us heal that collective pain, just a little bit. It feels personal, but if you're an empath on top of it, right, you know, it's not just you, um, then the ability to not just reconcile whatever is going on within you and or these other person or people, um, but also to reconcile this world. Because you know what? When people aren't in excruciating internal pain and denying it, <laughs> this world gets better, right? More honesty, more integrity, more healing, and whatever rises, love that. Good old Matt Cod. I love him so much. So, uh, yeah, a, a tricky read, almost a touch of a shadow read, but it looks like if you're already very, if you're already very clear that there is pain here and that it's on all sides, really, fairness, fairness, right? Balance to bring this into balance, to bring new love to the situation, or maybe just bring love to your own pain, giving it a voice with or without anybody else uh, involved. So. Let's put this together in a blessimation. It's a combination of blessing and summation. And then we'll talk about stuff uh, at the end for, you know, readings and all that.
cool during the circle stuff we got going on and Janet Grace's album that she's doing from all the new music that she's making for our channel here. Let's do this. Please take a nice deep breath. It's good to be back at work. Still point. Pantheonic override. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aries collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs, and cross watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to manifest their heart's desire this beautiful, beautiful June into July by sharing shame. Because when they share they de their deepest pain or allow someone to share their deepest pain, everybody is given permission to be as they are authentically, particularly with the element of water for new love here to embrace this new opportunity for love that's here, regardless of the form that it takes, calling in Archangel Zuriel for fairness and a balance backing you up so you will stand your ground in a confident way, one would think, particularly working with the energy of rutilated quartz for that reconciliation that vibrational healing, that forgiveness that happens within us first, right? Always within us first, so that they can manifest their heart's desire by water, by earth, by spirit, and by fire. By earth and air, water and fire, let their confidence take light and burn ever higher for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So much big, and so it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a good read. Not the easiest read, but worth working on. You got, you know, a waxing moon to do it in. So if it helped, if it made sense, if it clicked for you, please hit the thumbs up and help the other Aries find it. Subscribe if you want more of me here and comment if you feel it. Notification bell obviously tells you when the next video is coming out. So there's that. <laughs> and certainly do check me out on Patreon. It is my favorite thing on planet Earth in terms of my work, career, and vocation, allowing me as a mystical artist, a spiritual teacher, a professional intuitive, a professional witch, to do it all in one place. Seeker, human, hero, angel, witch, immortal, mystic, god, goddesses are eight tiers at the time of this recording. We even have a seven-day trial, free trial, for Seeker, but I think today, or maybe by the end of this week, I might add human, the next one, $5, three, and $5, first two tiers. Uh, for a five-day trial, thinking about it, might, I don't know, feels cute, might do it. Uh, so, you know, go check the links down there, go see what's on the menu, and come play Patreon on Patreon, right? Again, the dailies, right, daily check-ins, extended readings, and significant discount, let's talk about that, you know, significant discount on my website, drawingthecircle.com, that's drawingthecircle.com, there is a store. All of this is written down in there in a very simple, clear, and concise way I am, after all, Virgo. Uh, uh, but I did a video for it, uh, booking private sessions with Mel. It's no longer booking a reading with Mel, because my private sessions have always included spiritual counseling, even the half hour of power, which is kind of cool. Yes, my patrons, once they are subscribers, no free trialers, get that, right? They get a significant discount. I raised my prices for the 25th anniversary, May 1st, 2023. It was 20, 20, 25 years since I raised my prices, I think it's fine. So yeah, click the link, check it out, and I'm here to help, and honestly, sharing shame in a spiritual, you know, sharing your deepest pain in, in a spiritual counseling is what I'm built for, and it's probably my strongest healing art. Well, divination is my strongest mystic art. You gotta take your creativity where you find it in your contract, right? So yeah, reach out. I'm here to help. And by all means, I mean, if you can't get a piece of Rutilator Quartz, it's fine. I mean, it's not horribly expensive. This was a gift. I did not buy this hunker chunker for myself. It was given to me by an Italian Pro, yeah, you take it. Sicilian, yeah, you take it. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, uh, but of course, anything will work. And even just being open to it, right, uh, begins the process. So good luck with this. Really, your heart's desires are confidence, and Aries are pretty damn confident most of the time. Sometimes they don't look before they leap, but that's confidence for you, right? And we're all doing the best that we can. So hang in there. Manifest your heart's desire by water, by earth, by air and fire for the well-being of all of life, right? For the well-being of all with harm to none. And as we will, and so let it be done. I'm wishing you the very best and the very blessed, this beautiful, beautiful, my beloved rams. Heal, hail, farewell, and blessed.